Helfen Sie uns zu verstehen. What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. It is inevitable. Without our intervention, organics are doomed. We are your salvation. You're killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. Finish your war. We will be waiting. Shepard. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Lad den Code hoch. Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Tali Zora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please. Kill us a lie. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us and I. Run. 
I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Hanagero hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Ranog at Moron with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We, the southern continent, had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you going to be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Chopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> you okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. Why not? Because I respect you, damn it. You think I don't want you to come with me? So ask me. Tally. I don't know how much time we have left. I don't know if we can beat the Reapers. But whatever happens, I want to be with you. I bet you say that to every guy who gets you a homeworld. Only the cute ones. You know I'd understand if you needed to stay. I know. But I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom, my father, even Legion. I'm mourning a geth. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcoin. Ja, gleich. Ich habe ja, glaube ich, schon mal erwähnt, dass es möglich ist, Morden zu retten. Aber ich glaube eigentlich, dass der Preis viel zu hoch dafür ist, weil man Rex töten muss. Also Rex muss man schon im Endeffekt 1 töten. Man muss die, die Forschungsdaten muss man halt zerstören, damit Eve nicht über... Also mit dem, hier, Ordnard Bakara nicht überlebt. Ich glaube, man muss die... Ich bin mir nicht sicher nicht. Ich glaube, die Bombe muss nicht... Ich glaube, die Bombe kann man entschärfen. Aber dann kann man halt... Dann muss man halt die ganze gehen und die Sache halt platzen lassen. Das Problem ist, Morden macht ihn da, danach nicht mehr wirklich. Und es ist einfach nicht wert. Und da wäre es vielleicht ganz interessant zu, gewesen zu sagen, wenn Morden lebt dass, wenn Fane verletzt wird, dass er Fane rettet, vielleicht noch irgendwie auch wieder, halt so nicht komplett heilt, aber so weit, dass er wieder kämpfen kann, so auf Mass Effect 2 Niveau. 
weil er vielleicht schon länger an sowas gearbeitet hat, so seit der, Massive, seit der Selbstmordmission. Es war ja so sechs Monate und ich meine, es ist Morden. Der hat sich die Heilung für, wie heißt es, für diese eine Seuche aus, auf Omega auch aus dem Arsch gezogen. Also wäre es durchaus in seinen Möglichkeiten. Abgesehen davon, dass das Kebra-Syndrom bestimmt schon länger erforscht wird. Und dann Morden und Fane, wahrscheinlich vielleicht sogar zusammen, würden dann irgendetwas tun, damit Legion sich nicht opfern muss. Dass sie vielleicht irgendwie, keine Ahnung, ich würde Fane zutrauen, dass er Admiral Garrel dann umbringt oder zumindest außer Gefecht setzt, damit er das nicht weitermacht. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie die gesamte Flotte sabotieren könnten. Aber sowas in der Richtung, damit Legion sich nicht opfern muss. Dass man halt dann sich schon entscheiden muss, also wenn man zumindest, wenn man es weiß, was daraus wird, dass man, als halt Beispiel, wenn die Genophar geplatzt ist, dass man weiß, man kann diese beiden dann retten. Das wäre dann auch wirklich mal eine schwere Entscheidung gewesen, weil ich glaube, ich könnte mich da nicht entscheiden. Weil Rex ist cool, aber Legion ist es auch. So, hat Anderson irgendetwas Wichtiges zu sagen? Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard you ended the Geth conflict on top of allying the Torians and Krogan, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? I've lost count of our casualties. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Klingt nicht gut. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Naja, wenn es hilft, ich habe gerade die Quarianer und Geff vereint. Aber diese ganze Crucible-Geschichte scheint ja kein großes Geheimnis zu sein. Ich bin überrascht, dass die Reaper das Ding schon längst gesprengt haben. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ja, komm, dann machen wir noch gerade das Interview. Das ist falsch, ne? Ja. Wobei, hat Javik was dazu zu sagen? Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. So viel dazu. Tonight, he had Counselor Valern at gunpoint. Now, he's disappeared. We give you his history, his enemies, and his name. Kai Lang. How long before he's caught? The Council's best guess, here in the battle space. Das würde ich auch gern wissen. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth-Quarian War. 
It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Ja gut. Wenn du darauf bestehst. Ich wollte eigentlich nicht, dass du da einen Fuß reinsetzt, aber... Trader, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye, aye, Commander. Jetzt raus. Ach, willst, was willst du jetzt? James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Ich hab drüber nachgedacht. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Was genau ist passiert? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. It got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Sie haben trotzdem das Richtige getan. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but if you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I. I don't know. 
I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Yeah. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Okay, das war's aber hoffentlich, ne? Okay, dann würde ich sagen, das war's mit Let's Play im Effect 3. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal.